Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the e-trailer trailer hitch receiver here on a 2021 Acura RDX. So this is what our trailer hitch is going to look like installed on our vehicle here. Now first things first, the powder coating on this hitch has a matte finish and if you ask me that blends in very well with the underbody paneling on the vehicle here. It's actually kind of hard to tell the two apart. So what this is going to do is, this is going to help your, uh, your hitch blend in more with the vehicle. It won't be as much as an eyesore and it'll look more factory. Now one thing I would like to point out is that if you have a model with the hands-free liftgate feature, um, you may or may not still be able to utilize that. So the hitch is going to block some of it, but you should still be able to get your foot around the receiver tube on one to the other side to make that operational. But it's not a 100% guarantee and it can be sort of finicky from vehicle to vehicle. So just keep in mind there is going to be some restricted access for your hands-free liftgate feature. That's not this hitch in particular, that's all the hitches for this vehicle. So adding a trailer hitch to your RDX, it's an excellent option because it's really going to utilize the maximum capacity of your vehicle. We can use a trailer hitch for a number of different things, obviously towing, but if we wanted to hit the trails or free up some space inside the vehicle for us and the fame on those long road trips, we could easily attach either a hitch mounted bike rack or hitch mounted cargo carrier. Now the opening size of our receiver tube is an industry standard two inch by two inch. There is another option for this vehicle, which is a smaller one and a quarter inch by one and a quarter inch. But if you ask me, two inch is definitely the best option because it's gonna give you the widest variety of those hitch mounted accessories to choose from, such as cargo carriers and bike racks. Now on the side of our receiver tube, we're gonna have a five eighths inch diameter hole that's gonna accept a standard hitch pin and clip. Keep in mind your hitch pin and clip do not come with the trailer hitch and the reason for that is a lot of your aftermarket accessories like bike racks and cargo carriers are going to come with their own. But if you do need one we have plenty of options here at e-trailer you can pick up along with your hitch. And then on the bottom here we have our safety chain loops so these are going to accept both the larger clevis style as well as the smaller S-type hooks. So now a couple measurements for you guys are going to help you when you're selecting your hitch mounted accessories. So the first one is the distance from the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube. And you're looking at about 14 and a half inches. Uh, plenty of ground clearance there with this hitch, so you don't have to worry about that, but that's gonna be used for your ball mount. That way you can make sure you get the correct rise and drop to tow your trailer level. And in regards to the center of the hitch pin hole to the bumper, it's probably gonna stick out around a half inch from the bumper. This is therefore, it's not gonna give you any issues at all with those folding accessories coming into contact with the vehicle here. In regards to installation, this vehicle is extremely easy. There's no modifying whatsoever required. It's pretty much just going to bolt up into place to existing holes on the vehicle. So this is definitely someone that someone that doesn't have a lot of experience, mechanical experience, can do by themselves at home in their driveway in a couple of hours. You don't have to lift the vehicle at all. It uses mostly common hand tools. There is one you're going to you might not have, and that's actually a torque wrench. So if you guys don't have one, that's totally fine. You will need one, but you can actually rent it for free from most local auto parts stores. With that being said, we'll go ahead and walk you through this entire process step by step now. So the first step for installation, we're gonna look underneath our vehicle there, see if we see a spare tire just sort of in this area here behind the bumper. And if we do, we need to go ahead and temporarily remove that. And that's done by opening the hatch. You're gonna be lifting open the floor covering in there. There's gonna be a little plastic tab you'll pop up. And then you should be able to stick a socket down in there to lower the spare tire winch. So again, you can per, uh, temporarily remove the spare tire. Now this particular model doesn't have a spare tire, so we're not going to be able to show you that today, but if you need any further assistance with that, be sure to reference your owner's manual. The tools are actually located inside the vehicle to do this as well. So next we need to lower our exhaust to get our hitch into position. So first step to doing that is taking some sort of uh, lubricant and then we're going to be spraying down each of our four hangers. So there's going to be one in the front and one on the back on either side. So we're going to go ahead and get those coated nice and good. That's gonna help remove the hanger from that rubber isolator. Now we need to support our exhaust before we break the hangers free. Easiest way to do that is to take some sort of ratchet strap or cam buckle strap, hook it onto two points on the vehicle, and then pull it tight. If you guys are working on the ground, you could probably use a jack stand or stack a couple blocks of wood. Now we're gonna be using either an exhaust hanger removal tool, which is not likely that you guys have, but you probably do have a pry bar, so we'll show you both methods. The pry bar is probably going to be a little bit easier on these ones closest to the tailpipe. And then for the one behind our muffler, we'll be using the exhaust hanger tool.
and we'll just go ahead and do this exact same thing on the other side. Now our exhaust didn't budge as much as I had wanted it to. We can probably still install the hitch just removing those two hangers on either side, but I'm gonna give myself a little bit more room to work and there's gonna be two more located just directly behind this cross member. I'm just gonna go ahead and get those out as well. And again, this isn't required. You guys don't have to do it. I just want some more room to work and some more room for you guys to see. So now we're just about ready to raise our hitch up into position here. We're gonna go ahead and prepare our hardware. We're gonna be getting our M12 hex bolts, two of them per side with our conical teeth washers. We want the teeth facing the hitch side. And our attachment holes are actually gonna be underneath the vehicle here on the inside of the frame. We're gonna go ahead and show you those and then we're gonna test thread our bolt in to make sure we don't need to do any further cleaning. So here's our two attachment holes, the two ones closest to the bumper. We're gonna go ahead and take one of our hex bolts and just make sure we can cleanly thread it into that hole. That's pretty good, no issues there. Now if you wanted to, you could come back with a wire brush and some spray lubricant and clean those out or possibly run a tap through them. It's really just gonna depend on how old your vehicle is and how dirty these holes are. So now with an extra set of hands, we'll go ahead and raise our hitch into position on the vehicle. So now that we have our hitch into position, we have all of our hardware just loosely started here. We're gonna come back with a 19 millimeter socket and snug up all of our fasteners before we torque them down. And now we'll come back with our torque wrench and torque them down to the specifications listed in your instructions. All that's left to do now is to raise your exhaust back up into position along with your spare tire if you have one. And now with everything back into position, that's gonna do it today for our look and installation of the e-trailer trailer hitch receiver here on our 2021 Acura RDX.